Hi Libra, welcome to my channel Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice reading, with a weekly forecast for the week starting March 19th, 2018. Thank you for joining me and as always remember that these are general so it's not going to apply to everyone. Keep in mind for the messages that might apply to you and uh, watch your moon and rising sign readings as well. So as your overall energy, at the bottom of the deck we have the Six of Cups. So with the Six of Cups here, you might um, find yourself feeling a little bit nostalgic during this time, thinking back to what you might consider better times. Also, you might be looking back thinking, well, I've come really far, okay? Um, this could also be a focus on children during this time or old ideas, old dreams that you had, okay, old goals that you had um, might be coming back, um, but it might be coming back because you have the opportunity to do something about it at this time, okay? Um, again, this is also review, reassess, readdress, rediscuss, um, hashing things out once again, whatever was left unsaid, unfinished, um, you're addressing it once again during this time, okay, potentially. For your career and your finances, your personal projects, your education, we have the Hierophant. So for some of you with the Six of Cups and the Hierophant, you're going back to school. You're going to finish a degree. You're going to finish a training program or a course or, or a paper, whatever the case may be. Um, for others of you, this is about um, children that are now changing how you see your job. And maybe you're looking at becoming your own boss. Maybe you're looking at starting your own business. Um, for others of you, this could be back payments or uh, back taxes or stuff coming back to you potentially from anything to do with dealing with the government, okay? Taxes, police, hospitals, insurance, anything like that, okay? Um, and for others of you, you might be dealing with uh, figures of authority because of child related issues potentially or old issues coming back, and so you're spending money on that. Um, for those of you who are looking for a job, you might find that something becomes available once again to you uh, or something you were rejected for before is now presented to you once again saying, okay, do, are you still interested? Um, or someone you used to go to school with is talking to you about jobs and partnerships and that or um, this is also about payments coming to you to do with child care, okay, for some of you. Um, or caring for someone in your family, okay? Things getting approved and now starting to move forward. For your home and family situation, we do have the four, the four of Swords, the Page of Swords. So with the Four of Swords, there might be someone who's not feeling well or this might be you. Um, and so you're spending more time with yourself or more money on yourself or you're caring for yourself or whoever this person is, okay? Maybe another um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone or rising. Um, with the Page of Swords in the home and fa family sector, um, this would be either you again or um, someone in your home and family situation pulling back from something, pulling back, back from a conflict, holding your tongue, okay? Reaching the conclusion that, you know what, this is really not worth it. I just want us to be able to get along or I just want us to, to just be happy and carefree like we used to be. So I'm not, I don't want to have that conversation. Um, so you're you're holding back okay you're pulling back for others of you this is about children once again because pages can represent children so um you might be you know looking at this is also research investigation so you might be looking at okay where do i want to give birth uh or where where do i want to send my kids to school or um what do my kids need okay it might be that your children or your child needs you more than usual during this time okay um, this could also be about paperwork, it could also be about communication, someone you haven't spoken to in a long time that was in your social circle or your family might be reaching out during this time, or you may hear some news that, you know, kind of, it's not necessarily that it's bad news, it could be news that you're not sure how to handle, or news that makes you feel melancholic, so it's not necessarily that it's bad news, but it kind of, you know, gets you thinking, oh, those were the days, and I haven't been there in a really long time and now come to think of it we haven't talked in so long and so on and so forth okay for your emotional life and love life we do have the judgment card 
So with the Judgment card, with the Hierophant, with the Six of Cups, okay, for some of you, this is looking at your relationship or your marriage, okay, especially with the Hierophant there. Um, especially if you are dealing with an Earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Water signs as well, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun sign, Moon sign, or Rising sign. But for some, you are assessing your relationship, your marriage, and you're thinking, are we just together for the kids? Uh, or you think, okay, do we really have a future? Because you see a truth that maybe it wasn't clear before or you didn't want to see it before, but now you come to the conclusion that, you know what, this isn't going away. Um, and it might be whatever it is that you're hesitant to discuss, okay? Um, but you might be looking at, do I really want to stay in this relationship in this matter? Does this really have a future or is it time for me to just go on my own? For others of you, this could be uh, news where someone's asking you to get back together or someone's asking you to give you give it another chance. The judgment card is the card of second chances, okay? It's a card of let's clean the slate and try again. Start from scratch. I really want to make this work, okay? So reconciliations could be on the table with this. Um, especially for those of you who have either been together a long time or you have children together, okay? Um, and for others of you, the judgment card with the six of cups can indicate meeting someone who is um, like soulmate um, type energy where they make a big impact in your life okay you um, they feel familiar to you with the six of cups there's a sense of I feel like I know you but I've never really met you so it could be the beginning of a new relationship okay that that is happening during this time for your health and well-being we do have the temperance card so with the temperance card here, I feel that some of you might be struggling to keep your balance, whether that means to stay calm or again to hold your tongue as opposed to just saying what you want to say really and, and knowing that it's going to cause an argument, okay? Um, you're really trying to be calm. You're really trying to be peaceful or at peace. Um, I feel that you're making, you're taking your time and you're making some decisions, but you're thinking, okay, I just want some nice peace quiet healthy relationships or interactions or whatever the case may be that's weighing heavily on your mind for others of you um i think you are thinking about you're going back and forth with going back to something whether that's a job or a person or a habit or a place or whatever the case may be okay i feel that you are thinking going back and forth um on that in your mind and i feel it may affect how you sleep okay and it also is affecting your emotional health um, so just be mindful of that okay for those of you you might be traveling you might be dealing with someone who has an addictive personality or this is you and you're looking at that addiction and maybe to do with drinking or maybe to do with taking things to escape reality um, and I feel that either you're traveling or someone's traveling to see a specialist to fix something okay it's time for healing that's what I'm getting Made, making up your mind that it's time for healing and I want to do what I need to do to have good health okay um, and of course you know that's mind body and soul um, for your overall guidance we have orange number 16 nurture yourself so the nurture yourself card again um, putting yourself front and center in terms of okay what did I want for myself five years ago? Do I have that? And if not, why? And if not, what do I want to do about it? Okay, so constantly reassessing and rethinking. Okay, well, what did I really want to do? Do I still want to do that? Why haven't I done it? But do I still want to do that? And if I do, okay, what am I going to do about it? Um, because it's time to nurture yourself. It's time to pull back from other people's goals, dreams, and nurturing others. And just investing some time in your own health and happiness. And health is mind, body, and soul. So you need to be happy. You need to be fulfilled. Okay? You need to find your peace and your balance. So take some time for yourself. Take some time to breathe, to relax, to pray, to meditate, to find your path. Okay? To remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing in the first place. To get your energy levels back up. Okay? is really really important and it does have to do with with this being 16 adding up to a 7 it does have to do with 
seeing the truth, speaking the truth, whether it's to yourself or another person, okay? But you are coming to the conclusion that, you know what, I, I want to be happy too. And I deserve to be happy too. I'm always the person taking care of everyone else. Now I want to take care of myself, okay? But very nurturing energy, uh, very gentle energy. So you might be looking at anything you can do to relax, spa days, massage days, um, spending time in solitude, okay? Um, anything to do with warm temperatures, warmth, spa, hot rock massages, anything, okay? Um, saunas, anything like that might really, really relax and help with the detox process, okay? Um, so that is your reading for the week. It looks like a week focused on healing and focused on finding your happiness and your balance, okay? Um, so I hope that the reading helps, okay? Let me know how the messages apply if they do. Remember to watch your moon and rising sign reading. Have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.